Howdy howdy y'all, it is me, Fern, and as y'all read the title, the million dollar question still sits. Will I continue making audios? I haven't come up with a, an exact answer yet, but I will be sure to give y'all reasons why I will continue making audios and reasons to why I probably won't. So let's get that started. The reason why I stopped making audios is for actually just for a couple of reasons and they were just like some personal opinions. Um, so one of them is that I didn't really want to focus on voice acting anymore considering that a lot of people liked my audios and they wanted me to make more of them. I was just not really wanting to focus on that. I wanted to focus on improving my art and I have improved a little bit but not as much as I have when I actually voice act. Um, and another reason is because my family knows about my channel and I'm okay that people know about it but it's just awkward after some time because sometimes my parents would bring up my audios and they would listen to it and I would just die a little in the inside knowing oh no I hope they think this is safe for work because it is. Even just because I am whispering at a very low voice does not mean this is not safe for work. So really it's just for personal reasons I kind of stopped. And also just to give like a little reason to why at the time I used to do um, not safe for work. Yeah, big shocker. I used to do not safe for work in middle school. And th that was like the darkest time of my life. I, I thought it was okay at the time and I was very new to it. But I quickly realized, no, this is not okay. So those of y'all that have been on my channel long enough, y'all know I used to do not safe for work. And they're nowhere to be found, so don't go and try and ask me for them, because, well, actually, I deleted them completely, so even I don't have them. Though the reasons that I have decided to slowly inch myself closer back to voice acting is for, again, a couple of reasons. Actually, now that I think about it, a few reasons. One, they're easy to make. Like, granted, when I make animations, depending on what kind I make, they could take me a good long period of time. Animators and even just regular artists, they know that. It doesn't matter what kind of thing you do, it could take time. But this, but voice acting, it's not too hard for me. It's not too time consuming. The really the only time consuming part is rendering and uploading. Somehow it takes about almost an hour to do, but luckily with my new computer, it doesn't take too long anymore. Because at the time, when my old one was like on its last leg, it would take, I don't know, three hours or so just to render, and then lo even longer to upload. So audios aren't really that much of a problem to me right now. And another reason is that I do not get copyrighted. So I just pick something, like whenever it comes to background music, I choose something that is most likely copyright free for obvious reasons, because I do not want to get striked. And it's easy to say that it's, it's simple. I, I just need to find something that fits the mood. And that's pretty easy since all I do is listen to music and draw and probably get distracted sometimes. So the music and the quality, that's already taken care of. And the possible third reason is that I like to experiment. Recently I have gotten myself into the Venom fandom for reasons and I have wondered to myself, hey, can I do a Venom impression? I did it, and oh my god, it it actually worked. So that's something to prepare for in the future. I did make a Venom audio, 
So far there's only two parts, spoiler alert. <laughs> and yes, yes, they're safe for work, please. No, do not ask me to make Venom not safe for work, even though it is very underrated. I, uh, I, I just gotta say that, it is very underrated. So, yes. I gotta give thanks to Gotcha Kitty for this. Because they're the ones who asked me to do the Nightmare Sands audio. And at the time, I was going to tell them no. But then I got to thinking, maybe I could do this in a better way. So I told them yes, but they were going to have to wait until December-ish. Well, last year. <laughs> and... As I was making the audio, I then thought to myself, what can I do to make this even better? Like, not something that not a lot of people do when they make ASMR. I guess this is technically ASMR now that I think about it. But, um, I thought to myself, okay, I, I gotta draw this character out. And I just gotta make it seem like the, the slight POV of this character. And then, it hit me. Wait a second. I... I think I could just animate this. I mean, it's not gonna be, like, intense animation. But like, a little gif. Cause, not everyone does this. They mainly get, like, an image that would represent whatever that's going on, or the person that is speaking, and they would just roll with it. So, I did that. It took a long time for it to render, considering it was about 8 minutes long, but it was worth it. And when I posted it, y'all went absolutely bedonkers for it. And I felt proud. And in fact, the ones that commented about the animation being <clears throat> chef's kiss, I felt really good about myself. I felt honored to know that that it went well. So I gotta say, thank you to you, thank you to you guys, and thank you, Gotcha Kitty. Bless y'all's hearts. I'm not religious, I swear. Anyways, thank y'all for understanding, taking your time to sit back and listen. I hope y'all respect my decision soon in the future because it hasn't been finalized yet, but I just want to say thank you and have a blessed day.